Have you ever shopped online? So while checking for a product, did you notice when it recommends for a product similar to what you are looking for? Or did you notice the person bought this product also bought this? Combination of products basically. How are you they doing this recommendation? This is machine learning. Facebook utilizes recommendation engines for its new feeds on both Facebook and Instagram as well as for its advertising services to find relevant leads. Netflix collects user data and recommends various movies and series based on the preferences of the user. Amazon use, uses machine learning to place relevant products in users' field of view, maximizing conversation rate by recommending products that the user actually wants to buy. So, hello my friends, I am Kiran Deep Kaur and I am back with a brand new video on machine learning. I will be telling you about what basically the machine learning is and uh, what are the applications of these machine learning algorithms. So, machine learning is a field of study that gives computers the capability to learn without being exclusively programmed. As it is evident from the name, it gives a computer that makes it more similar to humans the ability to learn. While artificial intelligence is the broad science of mimicking human abilities, machine learning is a specific subset of AI that trains a machine how to learn. How does machine learning work? Machine learning algorithm is trained using a training data set to create a model. When new input data is introduced to the machine learning algorithm, it makes a prediction on the basis of the model. The prediction is evaluated for accuracy and if the accuracy is acceptable, the machine learning algorithm is deployed. If the accuracy is not acceptable, the machine learning algorithm is trained again and again with an augmenting training data set. So in machine learning, there are two kinds of data, label data and unlabeled data. Label data has both the input and output parameters in a completely machine readable pattern, but requires a lot of human labor to label the data to begin with. Unlabeled data only has one or none of the parameters in machine readable form. This negates the need for human labor but requires more complex solutions. Now there are three types of machine learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. So first we will talking about supervised learning. Supervised learning is when the model is getting trained on a label data set. Label data set is one which have both input and output parameters. So basically you have in your independent variables and your dependent variable. In the figure shown, uh, the figures have label data set. Like in figure A, it is a data set of shopping store which is useful in predicting whether a customer will purchase a particular product under consideration or not based on his or her gender, age and salary. So we have gender, age and salary as our input and purchase that to 0 or 1 as our output. So 1 means yes the customer will purchase and 0 means the customer won't purchase it. In figure B, it is a meteorological data which serves the purpose of predicting and wind speed based on different parameters. So we have dew point, temperature, pressure, relative humidity, wind direction as our input and wind speed as our output. Example of application of supervised learning is face recognition. Do you use Facebook? Most likely your face has been used in supervised learning algorithm that is trained to recognize your face. Having a system that takes a photo, find faces and guesses who that is in the photo, suggesting a tag basically, is a supervised process. It has multiple layers to it, finding faces and then identifying them and but is still supervised nonetheless. So next we will talking about unsupervised learning. So unsupervised machine learning holds the advantage of being able to work with unlabeled data. We do not have dependent variable in this, we only have independent variables. We use clustering to find group of data like we have data of apples, mangoes and nuts. We want our machine to identify group of apples, mangoes and nuts. We make different clusters of the unlabeled data. So one application of unsupervised learning is recommender system. If you have ever used YouTube or Netflix, you have most likely encountered a video recommendation system. 
These systems are often time, place and unsupervised domain. We know things about videos, maybe their length, their genre, etc. We also know the watch history of many users, taking into account users that have watched similar videos as you and then enjoyed other videos that you have yet to see. A recommender system can see this relationship in the data and prompt you with a suggestion. Next is our reinforcement learning. So reinforcement learning is a learning from your mistakes. Place a reinforcement learning algorithm into any environment and it will make a lot of mistakes in the beginning. So as long as we provide some sort of signal to the algorithm that uh, associate good behaviors with a positive signal and bad behaviors with a negative one, we can reinforce our algorithm to prefer good behaviors over bad behavior. Over the time, our learning algorithm learns to make less mistakes than it used to. It basically follows the concept of hidden trial method. So let's look at the teaching an agent to play the game Mario. For any, for any reinforcement learning problem, we need an agent and environment as well as a way to connect the two through a feedback loop. To connect the agent to the environment, we can give it a set of actions that it can take that affect the environment. To connect the environment to the agent, we have it continually issue two signals to the agent, an updated state and a reward. So our reinforcement signal for behavior. In the game of Mario, our agent is our learning algorithm and our environment is the game, most likely a specific level. Our agent has a set of actions. These will be our button states. Our updated state will be each game frame as time passes and our reward signal will be the change in the score. So as long as we co connect all these components together, we will have set up a reinforcement learning scenario to play the game Mario. So we have learned all about what machine learning is and what are the types of machine learning. But who use this machine learning? Most of the industries working with large amounts of data have recognized the value of machine learning te technology. If talking about financial services, banks and other businesses in financial in industry use machine learning technology for two key purposes, to identify important insights in data and prevent fraud. The insights can identify investment opportunities or help investors know when to trade. Data mining can also identify clients with high risk profiles or to pinpoint warning signs of fraud. If talk about government agencies, so government agencies such as public safety and utilities have a particular need for machine learning since they have multiple sources of data that can be mined for insights. Analyzing sensor data, for example, identify ways to increase efficiency and save money. Machine learning can also help detect fraud and minimize identity theft. Healthcare, machine learning and wearable devices and sensor can use data to assess a patient's health in real time. The technology can also help medical experts analyze data to identify trends or red flags that may lead to improved diagnosis and treatment. If talking about retail, so retailers rely on machine learning to capture data, analyze it and use it to personalize a shopping experience, implementing a marketing campaign, price optimization, merchandise supply planning and for customers inside. For oil and gas industry, we use machine learning to find new energy sources, analyzing machinery, minerals in the ground, predicting refinery sensor failure. And we use machine learning in transportation. Analyzing data to identify patterns and trends is the key to the transportation industry, which relies on making routes more efficient and predicting uh, potential problems to increase profitability. So these are some of the machine learning tools. We have languages such as R, Python and C++. We have many data visualization tools such as Pandas, Matplotlib, etc. And some journal frameworks and big data too. Some of the famous companies uh, who hire machine learning engineer or data scientists are Amazon, Delight, Apple, etc. So that's all about machine learning. So if you have any doubt related to this particular topic, you can ask me in the comment section and I hope you enjoyed the video. So stay healthy, stay motivated and happy learning.